Hi, how are you? How is she doing? She just got discharged from the hospital today. Good news. When two great names in fashion come together, you know it's going to be a magnificent show. And that's exactly what we got to see today at the stunning RMKV Silks in collaboration with Sunita Shankar. That was a beautiful show to start off with a dancer taking you back to this place of all things elegant, narrating the story of Chennai with the beauty of its silks tapered throughout the entire set. That's something that we got to see and witness and something that Shishmita, you're carrying it off beautifully today. In every avatar that we get to see you, there's always a nazakat, there's always a uh -huh. confidence. You're able to always change your look and feel and we got to see that today. You look like an elegant woman carrying the, the prestigious silk so beautifully. Uh, to talk about this collaboration, I would love Mr. K. Sivakumar, Managing, Managing Director, RMKV Silks Private Limited, and Ms. Niranjana Vishwanathan, Director, RMKV Silks, to please tell us what, th what this led to. Yeah, we strive to make this, uh, this collection unique. We strive to make this collection unique in terms of design, colors, and fabrics. In terms of design, we have uh, recreated a 300-year-old sari a revival of uh, Tanjur Palace and uh, Aishwarya Pukal Sari based on 90 flowers taken from Badvanavarama Palace of Travancore of Kerala and uh, Belur Sh Shilapalika Sari based on Madanikas and uh, 2000 distinct Buttas. These are all from uh, uh, in terms of designs and uh, the color innovations, 50,000 color saris, 50,000 distinct unique colors. And it has been certified by Central Silk Board that it has got 50,000 colors. And uh, the whole idea of doing this sari is customization. Any bride wants to be unique on her wedding day. So color of her choice and design can be woven and given by RMKV. That is the idea of creating this sari. And uh, next is in terms of fabrics. When she was talking about uh, the fashion and other things, she was uh, stating that the comfort is the main factor. Especially for the younger generation to get attract, we have created Lino light silk sari, which is 40% lesser than the normal silk sari, the silk sari that breathes with a special patented technique. Yeah, and uh, the other sari, what she was wearing, is a reverse, grand reversible sari, which can be worn in four different ways, with four borders and four pallus, and two distinct body. And uh, these are all our collections. And especially for the garments, I think Shunita Shankar has created beautifully well with our uh, handloom products. It's over to Nina. 
Yeah, I think when uh, anyone talks of South Indian silk saris, the immediate image that comes to mind is something really heavy, you know, full of zari and all that. So then this collaboration has been to do to break that mindset, to see what all can be done with silk saris for the younger generation, the modern woman. So that's why Sunita has come in and, you know, kind of, you know, played <coughs> with all these silhouettes and, you know, paired saris with jumpsuits and all, which, which was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this collection is built on three decades of work of RMKV. All these fabrics that you're seeing, we've been exploring different weaving techniques for the past three decades. And what you're seeing on stage today is a culmination of that effort. And it was a beautiful show. I, yeah. We have to agree. I mean, right from the setting to the way the models walk, the way they <coughs> entered the show was absolutely fabulous. Sunita, I managed to catch a glance of you before the show started and the madness was going on. And you looked really, really like, anxious at the same time, excited. There was a smile across your face. You looked quite excited about the show. As soon as you came in, you were like, okay. And then I saw you walking around the whole panel. So I'd love to hear from you. What were your thoughts? Like, what led to creating this show? What led to this collaboration? And how come Shushmita was that the face that you know came to you instantaneously? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if uh, you've noticed my work, uh, I've normally been very contained in my work, and I use very limited color palette. I mean, my color palette is very limited. So this collaboration with RMKV happened uh, for another reason: is that I was very excited to work with so many colors. You know, silks cannot be devoid of color. I think I've worked with color like never before. And uh, I think that was exciting. And I really worked on every piece because I know the kind of effort was put into it. Because RMKV has been doing a lot of innovation within the tradition. And need for them was to move ahead beyond the tradition. You know, how to get, you have those traditional saris to be worn during certain special occasion. But you want the wearer to wear it more often. And you want to address it and take it to the younger generation. So there were, there's a lot of design input in all the aspects of weaving, color, editing, everything was taking place as well as, you know, they give me the free hand of taking sari in a most unnatural way of teaming it with jumpsuit, trousers, skirts, dresses, whatever. You know, I thought you know, today it's a non-conformist way of dressing that people are preferring. And uh, you can't tell a youngster that this is the only way you can drape a sari. There's so many ways. They can give them the individuality. We need to see more individual dressing up, more individual styles. And Shushmita, my God, she's a diva of individuality. She's the diva that we needed because she's a woman of substance. And she's a nonconformist. We all know that. A very strong person that we admire. And she was the right brand ambassador for this. Wow, I love her. Make <laughs> that official. <laughs> so to the woman who has no rules and sets her own, you look absolutely stunning. I think words would not do you justice. Like Sunita just mentioned, um, the collection was inspired for the modern woman who's looking at just contemporizing her wardrobe a lot more. She wants those staple uh, clothing choices, but at the same time with a, you know, with a twist. So what was it like when she came up to you and she said, Sushmita, you're my person of choice. I want you walk, walk for my show. And this is what I'm wearing. Was there absolute glee? Good afternoon, members of the press and all you friends that I'm seeing after a long time. And you beautiful for all those lovely words. And to both my left and my right, uh, the team of Aram KB and uh, Sunita, both of whom have made excellent choices during the show. And um, my family, my ma who's here, hello, everybody. See, this was very easy. Sunita did not have to discuss this with me. She did one better. She sent me two sketches, one with a jumpsuit and the sari draped, the other with a dress, sari draped. And I was like, really? We're doing sari like this? This is exciting because, you know, I'm a big fan of saris. I, and I am talking about the traditional saris. It is what drapes a woman and embraces her power of suggestion. Nothing sexier, I believe. But they're so right that when, as time changes and newer generations of younger people come into being where they like to explore, understand, innovate, 
uh, be different, be unique, then they must have that choice. And it should not be conforming to any particular fashion statement or look. That should define how you feel and who you are. So it was beautiful for them to uh, give me this opportunity to work for something that is actually far more than just a fashion show for Like My Fashion Week. It represents sustainable fashion, which is in so many ways a celebration of what human impact can do to your environment and to your social responsibility, both of which I have deep respect for. So I am deeply thankful to all of you for thinking of me, and I'm so glad uh, my mom, who got discharged from the hospital just today, has come all this way, and she did not have to pull the dress from under my heel this time. And it went off very smoothly. Thank you to the entire team. Uh, Neeraj Gaba, who did an outstanding job of choreographing it, um, right from the lady who draped my sari, um, the lady who performed today. I mean, everyone just put in their 100%. Um, Nishant on sound killed it with the track. You like the music? It is lovely music, right? Uh, and the entire show was very soulful. And I loved the fact that the models walked bare feet. Uh, the whole feel of the angan. Uh, I, till the last moment, I have to tell you, I was like, It would be so lovely to just join them. But then I think the length of this, that was already done. But it's very rare to be a part of a show which you take back with you as an experience. So Lacme Fashion Week, thank you for yet another memorable show. Thanks, Sita. Thank you so much for that, Shishmita. <laughs> Um, and with that, I'm just going to open the floor to media for any questions that they have. Media, go for it. What Shishmita is wearing is a jumpsuit. <laughs> and uh, we've draped the sari on the jumpsuit. Uh, so uh, the drapers has done a great deal. And this is a, a grand reversible sari, as he had spoken about. So we wanted to show the sari in both ways. You know, otherwise, the way you drape a sari, you can only see one side of the sari. Yeah, she could, and she's a diva. She carried it beautifully. We could see every damn thing. The, I mean, two pallus, two, four pallus, two, the color change. So it was, yeah. So she's like a people. I was doing all so that I mean, to show and we needed sides. we needed that for the sari, you know, because it is a unique product of R and KVM, which needed to be positioned in that way and shown that way. Because I don't think so. If you go, yes, it is. Uh, in fact, for a kanjivaram, it's extraordinarily light, and it's uh, because the weave on both hands. I was trying to do that actually. I was trying to show the colors, the family of the colors on both ends to show you just how many colors have been used in it. And there is no weight. Because we've pleated the sari, and it's the entire length of the sari. There is pleats traditionally in a sari in the front. We had it at the back. Uh, and with that entire elaborate feel, I could swing the pallu around with no effort at all. So very light compared to other kanjivarams. Oh. Ji, ji, humne kaha, be a diamond, shine yourself. Ye sab artificial cheese nahi pehnenge hum. No, but this was the call of the designer and of RMKV as well, that they wanted it to keep, keep it very clean um, and actually keep a very spiritual feel to the entire show. Agar aap dekhenge, everything was kept very raw, very organic. Ek mere jute pehne the bas, not very organic, but baki sab, everyone, even their hair do the models you saw, beautifully done. So yeah, we, we, it was a conscious decision not to wear anything. Dekhi, mere liye, ek bachi, ek aurat ban jati hai, jab saari pehna seek jati hai. It's a very, it's a feeling of that large, that sharam, that other, everything that comes with it. And it could be a chiffon sari that is showing you everything, but it still has the power of suggestion. And to me, anybody can drape a sari anyhow they want, but jabbi bhi dunya mein koi sari bole, 
So it has to be Indian. It belongs to us. Uh, first time, many Harbans Modi ke saath, 16 saal ki umar mein, photographer hai, bahut famous Delhi mein, um, ek uh, portfolio shoot kiya tha. To, mamma leke gayi thi mujhe, unki kali saari penny thi, which was what ma? It was a silk saari, but not so heavy. Uh, and Harbans Modi almost fell off the chair. He says, 16 year old portfolio shoot in a saari? So, mommy says, baba ne aise permission diya hai. Shoot karna hai to saari mein karna padega. So that was the first time I wore a saari. Thank you. Hi.